The IDEX Legion Alert test detects Legionella pneumophila in water samples in seven days with no confirmation step. Legion Alert is available in a 100 milliliter format and must be used with a Quantitray Legion Alert system for quantification. The Quantitray Legion Alert is a disposable 96 well tray that provides counts up to 2,272 per 100 ml sample without dilutions. In the next few minutes, we'll demonstrate how to prepare non-potable water samples for use with the Legion Alert test. We'll then show you how to quantify the bacteria using the Quantitray Legion Alert system. To prepare a 1 ml non-potable water sample, you will need the Legion Alert reagent, a sterile, transparent 100 ml vessel, the Legion Alert pretreatment kit, a 1-minute timer, a sterile tube, and sterile diluent. Snap open the reagent pack and pour the powder into 100 ml of sterile diluent. Cap the vessel and shake until the contents are dissolved. The water may remain cloudy. Set this vessel aside. Reconstitute the Legion Alert pretreatment by adding 100 ml of sterile DI water to the vessel and then shake until fully dissolved. Mark the preparation date on the bottle. Refer to the Legion Alert pretreatment product insert for more information. Add 2 ml of reconstituted Legion Alert pretreatment to a sterile tube. Add 2 ml of non potable water sample to the same tube. Start a one minute timer and then mix the contents thoroughly. Mix again before the one minute is up. At one minute, immediately transfer 2 ml of the treated sample to the vessel containing the dissolved Legion Alert reagent. Cap the vessel and invert to mix the sample with the reagent. This non-potable water sample is now ready to be quantified. In the next few minutes, we'll demonstrate how to use the Legion Alert test with the Quantitray Legion Alert system to determine the number of Legionella pneumophila in a non-potable water sample. For quantification, you will need an incubator, a Quantitray Legion Alert tray, a Quantitray Legion Alert rubber insert, a Quantitray Sealer Plus, and the included most probable number table or the IDEX automated MPN generator program found at IDEX.com. Turn on the sealer and then wait until a green bar appears on the display. The sealer has now reached the appropriate sealing temperature. Use only a permanent felt tip marker to label the Quantitray Legion Alert tray. Adhesive labels may adhere to the sealer roller, and ballpoint pens may puncture the paper. Hold the tray at the top with the well side facing your palm. Push the top edge of the tray in with your free hand while squeezing the tray into a circle. Open the tray by pulling the back away from the well side. Avoid touching the inside of the tray. Aseptically pour the sample mixture into the tray. Tap or flick the tray to remove air bubbles. Immediately place the filled tray on the rubber insert, making sure each well fits its corresponding hole. Push the insert with tray into the sealer until the sealer grabs the tray and pulls it into the slot. If you need to reverse the motor, press and hold the reverse button. However, do not reverse the motor if the rubber insert is completely inside the sealer. The sealer distributes the sample mixture into the Quantitray Legion Alert wells, seals the wells, and partially ejects the sealed tray. Remove the rubber insert and tray from the sealer. Incubate the sealed tray paper side down for seven days at 37 degrees centigrade, plus or minus 0.5 degrees centigrade. To prevent trays from drying out, humidify the incubator. If stacking trays, Alternate tray direction so large wells are placed above small wells. After incubation, 
Look for any indication of brown color and or turbidity greater than the negative control, which indicates a positive well. Mark each brown or turbid well, count the marked wells, and then refer to the MPN table included with the Quantitray LegalERT trays. To obtain the MPN per 100 ml, remember to multiply the MPN by 100 because you're using 1 ml of the original sample. The most probable number for this non-potable water example is 156.6 multiplied by a dilution factor of 100 to achieve 15,660 per 100 ml. Any change to a brown color and or turbidity greater than the negative control indicates a confirmed positive for Legionella pneumophila. Here is an example with both strong and weak positive wells. There are a total of six positive large wells and 24 positive small wells. If you're unsure whether a result is positive, compare the sample side by side with a known negative sample. IDEX recommends that you run a quality control procedure for each lot of LegalERT tests. You will find the quality control procedure in the LegalERT product insert. Remember, incubate non-potable samples for seven days at 37 degrees centigrade plus or minus 0.5 degrees. Samples with any brown color and or turbidity greater than the negative control are positive for Legionella pneumophila. Samples with no difference in brown color and or turbidity from the negative control are negative for Legionella pneumophila. Positives before seven days and negatives after seven days are also valid. Always follow these testing guidelines. Use only sterile diluents. Refer to the product insert for details. Store LegalERT reagent at 2 to 25 degrees centigrade away from light and humidity. And always follow aseptic technique. Keep these tips in mind. No confirmation steps are needed. Up to 10 trays can be stacked for incubation. Always place trays paper side down in the incubator and alternate tray direction. Dispose of all samples and materials in accordance with local regulatory guidelines. If you have questions or need more information, call the IDEX water microbiology experts at the number on your screen.